Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are back, and they're done hiding it because the final clear shots of them together have surfaced, and they look all too pleased in each other's company. Based on new photos taken of the recently reunited Benifer, the couple are spending time together in Miami, and Lopez has been nothing but smiles. Ben flew into Miami over the weekend to meet up with Jen, trying to look as incognito as possible, wearing a hat, sunglasses, and a mask. However, even with all that, the paparazzi were able to spot him and snap a couple of pictures. It became clear he was in town when he later surfaced at a waterfront mansion JLo was also visiting. Ben came out onto the balcony for a quick smoke break, facing the swarm of paparazzi, minus the disguise. Jen popped in and out herself, but you could only make her out from behind, as she seemed to be trying to lay a little lower than Ben was. They never came out onto the balcony together, but it's obvious, they were sharing the same space for yet another little weekend getaway. Eventually, they gave up the elusive act together and walked down a flight of stairs, with Ben trailing Jennifer, who flashed a big smile and couldn't have looked happier. In any case, it would appear the cat's out of the bag, and something tells us we might just see more of their public outings going forward. Flashback to the early 2000s, here we go. Twitter has also been alive with Benifer commentary, with fans tweeting things like, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck? I don't care if it's PR. It's called nostalgia and I'm here for it. And J-Lo's been with him for like two weeks and he's hot as shit again. I bet his Phoenix back tattoo is slowly disappearing like the photo in Back to the Future. Jennifer Lawrence also had something to say. Breaking, breaking, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are back together. They're on no! vacation. They are on vacation with each other right now. A friend even said Ben's ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, thinks he and JLo are a great match and is really happy for them. She's moved on with John Miller and Ben has moved on too, the friend said. She's glad that he met a woman who is successful in her own right and isn't using Ben for fame. However, not all the tweets have been in complete support for the reunited couple. Just because J-Lo and Ben Affleck are talking again does not mean you and your toxic ex could work out if you just give them another chance. It seems as though J-Lo is embracing her new beginning with her old flame. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Alex Rodriguez, whose engagement with the singer was officially called off just a few months ago. While he understands the reasons for their split, he's still shocked at how quickly J-Lo moved on. However, it seems he may not have been as much of an innocent bystander as some may have thought. Right before Jen and Alex split, there were rumors flying around about how he may have cheated on the singer while they were engaged. Good show, baby. Oh, oh there he is, the man of the hour. <laughs> J-Lo was, quote, always aware of Rodriguez's cheating rumors, of him messaging other girls before their breakup, a close friend to Jen confessed. And it was allegedly these rumors that played a role in her taking a decision to call off their engagement. Jen wants someone who's fully invested in her and someone she can trust when she's not around her partner. It wouldn't be the first time that Jen was left abandoned by the man that she loved for another woman. In fact, Affleck is guilty himself for having left JLo for another Jennifer when they had previously been engaged almost 20 years ago. After taking the world by storm with their romance and announcing their engagement, the couple called it quits. Why? Well, Affleck went and fell in love with his daredevil co-star, Jennifer Garner. Aside from Ben falling in love with another woman, the couple were under a huge amount of stress while planning the wedding. Benifer's relationship was highly publicized, making headlines in the tabloids all the time. It was like we were on the cover of every magazine every week, and it was just, I don't know, it was just a weird thing that, you know, media catches on to certain things and they just go crazy with it and that just happened to be one of the things and our relationship I think did suffer because of that. So when it came to the wedding things were no different. No matter how hard they tried, wedding plans kept getting leaked to the press. It was impossible to keep anything private. The couple even thought about hiring three separate decoy brides at three different locations to try and lead the media in different directions. Just two days before Benifer was set to be married they called off the wedding. Due to the excessive media attention surrounding our wedding, we have decided to postpone the date. We began to feel that the spirit of what should have been the happiest day of our lives could be compromised. It's completely understandable that the couple wanted to have their special day to be private, but fans couldn't help but feel that something was amiss. Who cancels an entire wedding just two days before? 
It was just a few months later that the pair called it quits and Benifer was no more. The news shattered the hearts of fans all over the world. But no one could have been more heartbroken than Lopez, who confessed, I was eviscerated. I lost my sense of self, questioned if I belonged in this business, thought maybe I did suck at everything. When Affleck and Garner's relationship was confirmed, everything else started to make sense. The actor had left J.Lo for another woman and fans were enraged. How could he have done that to her? But I never felt heartbroken until we called off that wedding. You know what I mean? It was really devastating to me. Despite the fact that they both moved on to get married and start their own families, it seemed that J.Lo never really recovered from the heartbreak that Ben had caused her. She even admitted that she might have rushed into her marriage to Mark Anthony without taking the proper time to heal her broken heart. Thinking back, maybe deep down I knew that this was a band-aid on the cut, that my wound hadn't been stitched or healed, but I pushed all of that to the back of my mind. She was determined to move on and did her best to put Ben behind her, but she soon realized that Mark wasn't the one and they divorced after four years together. Ben didn't live happily ever after with Garner either. As the years passed, both J.Lo and Ben had other relationships and never seemed to both be single at the same time. They remained friends though and always spoke very highly of one another. I, I don't think I met anybody who worked any harder than Jennifer Lopez. I would say you have a better chance from the Bronx of ending up as like, you know, Sotomayor on the Supreme Court than you do having Jennifer Lopez's career and being who she is at 50 years old today. Fans couldn't help but feel that things between the two were left unfinished but the timing never seemed to be in their favor. When Lopez got engaged to baseball player Alex Rodriguez, everyone thought that she had finally found the one and that she would have her happily ever after. He's just the most supportive, caring, uh, present uh, partner. And I just, you know, I'm so grateful for our life and our kids and this time. And uh, I, I couldn't ask for a better person to be by my side right now. We're not sure what happened but maybe her engagement sparked something in Ben that made him see clearly for the first time in years. Hanging his head low, Alex Rodriguez is focusing his energy on the future. The former baseball star took to his Instagram story on Sunday to share that he's stepping into a new beginning as his ex Jennifer Lopez reunites with Ben Affleck. He shared, I am about to step into a new beginning in my life. Anything that doesn't serve me is clearly out of my life, he wrote. New energy is emerging. New levels are unlocking for me mentally, physically, and spiritually. I am remaining patient and know that this new phase of my life is coming. A close friend of the couple said, Jennifer is open to having a relationship. She wants to spend as much time with Ben as possible to see where this could go. All we know is that Benifer is back on and fans want nothing but the best for them. They just hope that Ben won't go breaking her heart again because J.Lo fans will undoubtedly rally up for a fight. This year, anything seems possible for reunited couples. If Benifer can give it another shot, then who's next? Brad and Jen, we are looking at you. As always, we are eager to see your opinion in the comment section below. And do tell us which topic we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard and we at Rumor Juice will make sure you are never bored. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.